Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm preparing red fish stew the Ghanaian way. This recipe is not only healthy and flavorful but it's also full of proteins and veggies. It takes roughly 45 to an hour to prepare this delicious gravy but trust me that it's worth it. To begin with I'm going to add my salt to my fish. I already descaled it and then took out the fins too. You can leave yours in if you want. Now you can also use any fish stock cube of your choice too or any seasoning cube as well. Add water and mix it well to make sure that each part of the fish gets some of the salt and leave it to rest for 45 to 1 hour before deep frying it. After 45 minutes, I've preheated my deep fryer and then put in my fish to start frying. I'm going to drop in some bay leaf for aroma. I'm covering it till it's golden brown before taking it out of the deep fryer. You can fry yours in any frying pan too. Now for my gravy, these are the ingredients I'm going to use and I will list them in the description box below. So kindly check it out. I prefer to have a very thick gravy. So let's begin. I'm pouring oil into my saucepan or my wok to allow it to heat up. When it's heated, I'm dropping in my onions to cook. This I'll cook till it's golden brown before adding in my onion, garlic and ginger paste. Jenna and Kasano are side sell a bumu my money yet deno. A money a sham, a face or sono, a sama bumu too. In Tisao ya bumu naso to metal paste, sir. Tie for Jenny be brain, so so ye, Gianino. A money too. And I'm crying near Gianini, my eight the dead she she sham so so. Now, once our onion is translucent, it means it's ready, so I'll add in my blended pepper with some cloves, some rosemary, aniseed, cumin, some thyme, and some coriander too. I will allow this to simmer for 15 minutes before adding in the next ingredient. If you are using a non-stick saucepan, make sure to be stirring once in a while so that it doesn't burn. After you add your tomato paste, to also cook now i'm not going to use plenty water for this particular recipe because i want a thick recipe so i just used little to rinse the bowl that i had the tomato paste in i'll continue mixing till it's well mixed and then allow it to simmer for 20 minutes now after 20 minutes i'm adding in my minced meat and allow it to also cook beautifully you can leave this in and then wait for about 5 minutes before mashing everything together or you can mash it in straight away too. Remember that we are cooking this particular stew on medium heat because we do not want to burn any of our ingredients. Cover it and allow it to simmer for an additional 10 minutes. When you are done, you add in your turmeric powder, some nutmeg and black pepper. Don't forget your curry powder too. Drop in some bay leaves to your taste and then add your seasoning cubes or powder too remember to use this in moderation and then you can also use any seasoning cube that you prefer when you are done mix everything together and allow it to simmer on low heat for salt at this stage if it's okay you leave it like that but then if it's not you add a little to your taste 
and allow it to continue cooking now i'm going to add my chopped peppers into the stew for aroma when i'm done i'll continue stirring till it's well mixed and then allow it to continue cooking again make sure to stir the under or the base of the saucepan so that it doesn't burn if it burns you will get a very bitter taste now i'm taking some of the stew out because i'll be using it for jollof later and allow the rest to continue cooking now allow it to simmer on low heat for an extra 20 to 25 minutes or so i'm okay with the appearance of my stew when it's almost done i'm dropping in my fish and then i'll stir everything gently to allow it to simmer for an extra 15 minutes before taking it out of the fire you can add in some fresh vegetables at this stage if you want but then if you don't it's okay you can eat it like that now this is how it looks like after the 15 minutes the fish has soaked most of the stew and this is how i like mine remember that when you are frying your fish fry it to be hard this way when it's in the stew and it starts simmering it will be soft now our stew is ready when there's oil on top of it because it shows that all the water has drained or it has been absorbed so we are ready to eat our stew this is definitely one of my all-time favorite dishes as it's really thick i just take a little and then i can eat it with plenty rice or any ampice of my choice too now enjoy this with warm steam rice on an ultimate cold weather day and you are good to go thank you so much for subscribing to my channel don't forget to like comment and share for more recipes bye bye